what did you do, Tony? I specifically told you not to make any moves without talking to me first. I saw an opportunity, and I took it. An opportunity? What was I supposed to do? Wait! That was the plan! Wait for what? We didn't have a choice. What difference does it make anyway? It's done. This is not the life I saw for myself. Frank, calm down. Once we deliver the kid to the boss, we can lay low for a while, take a break, and think things through. No. No, I'm not gonna let him hurt a kid. Just cause some grifter that crosses the boss's nephew? Tony, this could be your kid for Christ's sake. Or me 20 years ago. Except he actually has parents who care. This is not you. You don't want to do this. I don't want to do any of this. Don't you understand? We don't have a choice. Or did you forget what happened to me the last time I disobeyed orders? Maybe this time we don't let it come to that. Maybe this time we get rid of him. You're crazy. We'd never get away with it. Look, he might not hurt the kid. He said he just wanted to send the boss a message. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. You know that kid will be found in a Chicago overcoat by the morning. We gotta let him go, T. That's the only move here. No way. I'm telling you, it won't go the way you think it will. Frank, we let that kid go. We're both dead. It's alright kid, it's gonna be alright. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you did this to you, but I'm here now, and I'm telling you, you're going home. Why did you have to do this? That's always been your problem. You're treating me like I was some twit. Like I didn't know squat and you needed to protect me. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> 